Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Fitness Technology Friday on Mayhem Fitness. You know, this one was not a planned video. It kind of came up very organically in the last couple of weeks as having a conversation with my friend Matt. So if you've seen my last video, I just finished my 20,000 steps a day for November, uh, something I've done the last three years, and Matt and I were talking about uh, getting your steps in. Matt, Matt, two years ago, got really serious about getting back into wanting to you know, get more activity, get more walking in. Uh, so him and I had talked, I had just done the 100,000 step challenge in a day, and he was very intrigued by that. So he had his fitness tracker, decided, you know what, I'm gonna go back in and uh, focus on getting 10,000 steps every single day. So for like the last 700 days, uh, Matt just sent me a picture the other day. He's averaged like 12,000 steps. He's never missed under 10,000. So awesome job to you, Matt. Super proud of you. I know you put a lot of hard work into it. And I know that 100,000 step challenge you did in the winter was super challenging for you because I know the one of the summer kicked my butt. So awesome work. Uh, but what I want to talk about a little bit today was um, the Fitbit technology or, or even any type of fitness tracker, but Fitbit was pretty cool for me. I want to hit on three things and I'll talk about uh, the first two really quickly. Then I want to dive a little deeper into how Fit, Fitbit motivates you with some of the badges because as I started to dive in a little deeper, I'm getting pretty close to like almost all the lifetime badges that they have to offer. So the first cool thing with Fitbit that I really like is it tracks a lot more than just your steps. So what, what's awesome about it is it'll track your sleep. So it'll let you know how you're doing from a sleep standpoint. Uh, it'll connect to another device. So like uh, it connects to Peloton and if I'm using the Peloton, it'll literally go in and tell me that, uh, you know, here's what I've done today. I can share it. So it'll, it'll, it, um, it'll bring that workout into my Fitbit workout at the end of the day. So I'm getting credit for that. I can track accurately how many calories I've had uh, and they won't do it simultaneously. So what'll happen is it'll, it'll take out that last 30 minutes of the workout and it won't add that in to my calorie burn. So it's, it's really intuitive because it's actually helping track everything for you. I love that feature about it. The second thing I really dig is you can also connect to like a weight loss app. So mine is connected to my Weight Watchers. So it ties directly into my activity on Weight Watchers. So one of the things you get credit for on Weight Watchers is you can get points, um, additional points per week by being active. So this is pretty cool because the more workouts I do, the more it kicks into there. I can see what I have left for uh, active points on Weight Watchers a week using the Fitbit, which I think is absolutely amazing. The last thing I wanna talk about though, which is the big one is the badges they have. Fitbit has 101 badges you can get. So they have daily badges for steps and for floors. They have lifetime badges for steps and for floors. And then you can get weight loss badges up to 200 pounds in five pound increments. So let me pause for one second. I wanna talk about the daily badges and then the lifetime badges. So I have the Versa 3, which is this model right here. Um, it's a great watch and I'll talk about in a second, uh, you know, after I get into some of the badges on what I love about the Fitbit watches and why I'd recommend them. If you have an Apple Watch, if you have a Samsung Watch, any of the different watches are great. And you can use any one uh, as long as you're using it the right way for, for tracking your activity. It's awesome. But here's why I like Fitbit. I'll go back to that in just a second after I hit on the badges. So I talked about the 101 badges you can get. So let's talk about the daily and, and lifetime badges. So right now, um, I've hit all the daily badges I can get for steps in a day. The most you can get in a day is called the Olympian Sandal, and it's 100,000 steps in a day. For the average person, average, that's somewhere around 40 to 50 miles, depending on your steps. Uh, it was the, one of the toughest things I've ever done. I did it in July of 2020, when I was at the height of my my, my fitness activity, uh, and it really was amazing. I couldn't do it today with my the way my hip has been recently. I would, I would not be able to complete that, but it was a really cool uh, ability to go out and uh, just smash that challenge, and I, and I had a lot of fun with it. And as you go through, you'll get credit from badges anywhere from 5,000 to, uh, 100,000 steps. And once you get above, I think it's 70 or 75,000, it goes in 10,000 step increments. Um, so you can go out and try to push yourself and get those badges. The 100,000 step badge is a pretty big ba badge of honor. And it's, it's pretty challenging in a single day. Uh, when you get to floors, the floors, I have not even come close to getting to the top badges. You can, I, I think you can get 500 floors in a day, um, which is absolutely in, is crazy. I think the highest I've ever gotten is like 200 floors in a day, uh, which is still an amazing day. It was a day I was out hiking for like 12 or 13 miles and uh, it was great. Uh, but there are lifetime badges. So the lifetime badges, I am one badge away from getting the lifetime, uh, the longest lifetime badge you can get for steps. So since I've had my Fitbit, which was in uh, December of 2014, I've done just about 20, 21 and a half million steps. Now I went through and did the math. So that means I average out to about 7,200 steps a day. Here's the thing. I had probably a two year period, but I didn't wear a Fitbit when I had gained a bunch of weight back and I didn't could take credit for any of those steps. But there's really no way for me to go in and track from like the days I didn't use it. Uh, so I'm just gonna take it as in general and say, hey, I'll still take it for the last eight years. I've averaged 7,200 steps, which means I've averaged about three and a half to four miles a day. 
Uh, and, you know, in the last three years, I've averaged about 15 to 16,000 steps a day, uh, only because I have a lot of days that I've added in a ton more steps. So it's really cool from that aspect. So when you start to go through and you look at it, and I have like 9,500 miles on my Fitbit in that eight years. Um, so over averaging over a thousand miles a year. Um, so very, very cool to be able to go in and see, you know, what we're actually doing from a mileage, a step standpoint. Uh, it's been pretty neat, right? So what I've been trying to pay attention to is how do I, um, how do I look at this a little differently and how do I challenge, um, you know, myself now that I'm heading towards that last end piece goal in the badges. Cause I really love it. The other one I was super shocked with was the, uh, the lifetime floors badge. I wasn't really paying attention to that. The highest you can get is satellite. I'm at astronaut right now. Satellite is 35,000 floors. As you'll see on here, I have like 34,500 floors. So I'm getting super close to actually getting all, almost all the lifetime badges. So I'm just to the point where I have like one or two lifetime badges left, which I thought was pretty cool. about the last reason I want to talk to you about Fitbit specifically Fitbit for me. Um, I've owned a bunch of Fitbits and I want to talk about the really the two big positives and then the one huge demerit for Fitbit. So when you're thinking about fitness technology and why you'd get one, here's what I want my recommendation to make sense for you, hopefully. Um, the first big recommendation on Fitbit is it is super easy to use and very intuitive. It has a ton of different faces you can use, a ton of different uh, fonts or settings, whatever makes the most sense for you when you're tracking um, your steps or, your, or your, your mileage or whatever you want to look at. You can add it and customize it almost any way you want, which I think is amazing. The second big one is it is awesome from a battery life standpoint. I have the Versa 3. Um, this has a five to six day battery life. I've never run into anything less than six days. And if I travel and it's less than a week that I'm away, I don't even bring my charger. I just charge, I charge the watch 100%. I feel totally confident that I'm gonna have battery life the whole time. I was just in, um, I was in Phoenix. Uh, I was away for four days, no problem. Earlier when I was in Florida with my friends in October, uh, I'm sorry, September, we went at the beginning of September, we were doing Halloween Horror Nights in Disney and we were walking, you know, we had the one day we did like 13 miles, the other days we averaged like 20,000 steps. I still had plenty of battery life at the end, so that to me is absolutely incredible. Here's the downside to Fitbit. Um, the reliability of Fitbit long-term has not been great for me. I have gone through in that eight years, I want to say I've gone through five or six watches and I find the average lifespan for a Fitbit watch for me is about 18 months. Now, if it's under warranty, Fitbit's been really good about taking care of me and getting me a new watch. Uh, but I really do feel like at this point in time, like it really is a, a, a 12 to 18 month lifespan for the Fitbit, which would be the only demerit because they are, they're not cheap, you know, versus a couple hundred dollars. Uh, but the long-term benefits of using it all the time, plus it just becomes my watch. Uh, probably the most frustrating thing to my wife is I, I love watches and I have actually a really nice watch collection um, with some really nice pieces, you know, some Tissot, um, I have a tag, uh, some really cool watch stuff that I never ever wear anymore because it's just my fitness watches. I'm focused on how many steps or what mileage I'm getting in that day. So that would be the only downside is again, for me is I'm not using that, I, but I do love the watch. Uh, but the battery, uh, the battery life is amazing. The simplicity is awesome. Just the durability. Maybe I call a little bit to question. So I hope that's helpful for you. You know, get out there, track your steps, have some fun with this. Uh, it is a super motivational tool. You can actually add friends into it if you want to. So it's a pretty good community piece as well, but it's a great way to stay in front of what you're doing from a workout standpoint, from a fitness standpoint. So let's get after it. Thanks for checking us out for uh, our first fitness technology Friday in quite a while. We hope you have an amazing day. If you haven't done so, so far, please go back and do two things for me. Go back and check out our 20,000 step video in November, and then also hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much.